A local family wants to see change after their loved one was killed by KCMO police. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez explains why shooting six years ago is still being talked about today. Andres. Well, Kevin, this is the parking lot at 12th and McGee where Ryan Stokes lost his life in 2013. A KCPD officer killed him. The circumstances leading up to that shooting continue to be disputed. In fact, it's at the center of a lawsuit. And as that plays out in court, the family is still advocating for policy reform. Do the hard thing. Do the right thing. That knowledge, the pain and suffering. Choking up the uncle of Ryan Stokes continues to demand change more than six years after the death of his 24-year-old nephew. This is the latest police commissioner's meeting his family has attended. I keep coming to fight for Ryan because wrong is wrong and right is right. And Ryan wasn't that kind of young man boy. Ryan was our, our baby. In July of 2013, a KCPD officer shot and killed Stokes during a chase near the Power and Light District. According to police, Stokes was armed and threatened officers, but since then, civil rights leaders and his families have questioned that report. It has torn us to pieces. I mean, we're just so hurt and angered. Last year, the police commissioner revoked an award given to the officer and his partner. That was one step, so where's the next Next step and the next step to tell us the truth. The Stokes family claimed they didn't receive compassion from officers the night the 24 year old man died. So when they came to the house, they had us like we were going to attack, like it was going to be a war. They're now asking KCPD to review its policy when it comes to making death notifications following the death of a civilian in an officer involved shooting. The family would like to see a clergy member accompany police. And all we're asking is that you come to us, to people who have had losses in their lives like that, come like you, civil, come with respect. And now we did reach out to KCPD looking for a response to the family's claims, but a uh, spokesperson told me that they couldn't comment due to the pending litigation. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City tonight, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.